antibody titer testing is a really powerful tool for shelters to use uh, and there are a number of different indications for it. One is in an outbreak situation. Because you've got to actively manage your population and split the population into different risk groups. If you can test the incoming animals and your resident animals and establish which animals already have protective titers for the particular infection that's causing the outbreak, then you know that those animals that are all already protected are a very low risk group. That enables you to make management decisions about how you're going to move animals within your shelter and you know about the risk groups uh, in your shelter. Other situations might occur where you're partnering with a new shelter. You don't know about their intake procedures, how their vaccination protocol works, what kinds of animals that they're going to be transferring to you. So there's a lot of unknowns in that new population coming into your shelter. Uh, it's good active population management to establish which of those animals are protected against particular high risk diseases in endemic populations. Say it may be feline panleukopenia virus, canine parvovirus, uh, canine distemper virus even. Uh, you need to know which of the animals are protected and which ones aren't from this new population that you're sourcing from a, a new shelter that you partnered with. In clinic or on site, antibody titer tests are tests that are available to be used immediately in a shelter or in a clinic. You don't have to send it out to a lab and you can get results in a matter of minutes. Uh, they are designed to measure the concentration of antibodies that an animal has to a particular disease, say canine parvovirus for instance. What we're really interested in is knowing whether that concentration of antibodies is sufficient to prevent infection if an animal comes in contact with the disease. A positive result means that the concentration of antibodies is sufficient to protect that animal if it's challenged. A negative result could mean that the animal does not have sufficient immunity to protect it uh, on a challenge. It could also mean that the animal does in fact have enough immunity to protect it on challenge, but the antibody levels are not a sufficient concentration that they can be read by the test and produce a positive result at that stage. The antibody titer testing uh, needs to be interpreted with some care. So if it's a puppy or a kitten, the antibody titer test has no way of differentiating between antibodies that it received from its mother and antibodies that it developed itself in response to vaccination. Now antibodies that puppies and kittens receive from their mothers generally wane any time up to 16 weeks of age. So if you get a positive test result in a puppy or a kitten, that could be due to maternal antibodies, which are not going to stay around, or due to vaccine antibodies, which are. So you might want to perhaps repeat the test later on, but for the moment, that animal, if it's got protective levels, can be put into a lower risk category. And of course, we're going to um, keep vaccinating puppies and kittens every two weeks with modified live vaccine. I should also say that in some animals, especially adult animals, if the antibody titer is negative, that animal still could be protective. So you can see there is some discretion involved in interpreting the antibody titer tests.